Hey guys, this is Kent. Today we are playing FM22. I'm Port Vale manager in the Premier League and it is a battle, the biggest battle I've ever over untaken. Under untaken? Undertaken. That's what I wanted to say. It was a heavy night last night, I tell you, a few beers. Right, so we are 10th in the Premier League. 32 points, so well clear, well 14 clear of relegation. Six behind Leicester, which is our goal. Our goal is seventh. Uh, we've just had the transfer window, so I'm going to update you guys on that. Where are we? Transfer history. Oh, it's got the summer ones, which is annoying. Okay, here we go. So I signed Abdu Diallo for 11.25 million. Says he's a powerful centre back. He's already worth 15 and a half. 50 caps for Senegal. 28 years old. Fairly pacey. Brave. Good balance. I think he could be good for me. Statistically, he's my best centre half. So that was a good piece of business. This was an even better piece of business. Regular viewers will know I've been desperate for a keeper. It's been my weakest part of my whole team for three seasons. I've got Onana which is amazing. He's now worth 43 million sweeper keeper. I paid 29 million for him. I couldn't believe they let it happen. I paid 9 million up front and the rest on clauses. So, or something like that. Does it say here? No, it does not say. He's on 72,000 a week. So I was happy with that really. 58 caps, solid international keeper. Not one of the best in the world, but not far off it. So... Best buy Port Vale have made, in my opinion, on paper. On paper. Uh, who else do we get? This was one for the future, a sweeper keeper. And we got Maratta, who was transfer listed. That was crazy. Eight million I paid for him. Don't even know how they let him go for that, but he's already scored two goals in three appearances. So, yeah. Onana, Maratta, oh yeah, and we got Arthur, he's a great midfield player. He's only on loan from Arsenal, they didn't want him. Uh, optional fee, 26 million, I don't know if I'll have 26 million for him, but we shall see. So yeah, not bad, the rest were like just young, young, young players uh, for the future. That's the main thing I need to do. Managed to get rid of some well I had to raise funds to get the keeper that was my thing so I've made some sales that I didn't really want to make I sold Icardi to West Ham for 4.8 million he was on 95 grand a week though and he's 31 so I thought he's only got a year left after this season that's good business get rid of him he he was in my team but I've got a young striker coming through I want to play bit of a risk Triori didn't want to let him go, but 17 and a half million to Newcastle. I had to. He's so rapid, 20 pace, 20 acceleration. He done really well for me. He's got five goals, six assists, but never stellar. And do you know what the worst thing about him is? He never finishes a game. He's always knackered. Subbed every match. It drove me mad. This one now was one who didn't work out. But Sheffield paid 4.3 million for him. So I thought... Off you go, some. And obviously, I sold Lunin, taking a big hit on him. I'm unhappy with it, but he didn't do it for me. He just didn't do it. He's letting 49 goals. I don't know how he's got seven average because he's just letting him, he's just Billy Butterfingers. I got my money back for him. So, yeah, job done. Job done. Happy. Basically happy with my business overall because I've got a great striker and a good keeper. But I've got such a small squad now because of the sales I made. I haven't even got, this is how bad it is, I haven't even got a reserve player that I can bring in. All my reserves are off on loan. Super small squad. Okay, let's take this guy off the transfer list. I don't think it's good business. Having people on the list when... Mm -mm -mm. yeah that's good we shall crack on 
So today we are playing Port Vale. Sorry. Christ, I'm tired today. We're playing Aston Villa. You're going to be laughing at that one. I know you'll enjoy that one, you guys. Okay. Here we go. So Diallo is going to make his debut. You've got Onana in there, who is a sweeper keeper. Morata and Luca up front. This is the best team I've ever put out. This is the best team I've ever put out, basically, man for man. And I've got some strength on the bench. I'm not sure whether I should be going Williams or Sessignon. I favour Sessignon. Um, Edwards is unlucky not to get in, really. He's probably got a bit more pace. We'll go with that. We've got options, but small squad. Absolutely praying for a result. Unai Emery is Villa manager. Pray. Oh, is this me? That would have been nice. I'd like to see more clinical finishing. It's frustrating how many shots I have compared with goals. Six shots, two on target already. Picked up two yellows so though, Sessignon and Rodrigo. I'm not happy about that. Fairly uneventful half. Nine shots, three on target. Sitting on is doing well, but that, the yellows can, you know what it's like. They turn into reds, and then you, then it's game over. Rodrigo's not done well at all, so I'm going to hook him off. He's been a big disappointment. He's on stupid wages as well, which is frustrating. Emma. Right. Let's hope for a better second half. Keeper, good ball keeps. Yes! Rattan look up front. That should be good. That's what we needed. Take off Arthur. That's a good sub to make. Edwards is a good young player. Get, don't let Mings run down the wing. What's going on here? Just knock it about a bit and kill 10 minutes, guys. Luca, go on, Luca, go on, Luca. Yes. He's one of my favourite players. Nice young player, Luca Romero. He does not do it every game, let me tell you, but when he turns it on. Frustrating. 
in the old days on Football Manager or Championship Manager as it was, when you had a one and one, you used to think goal. Not anymore. I had 18 shots, eight on target. I'm very happy with that. But we still have a lot of chances against us anyway. The yellow had a good debut, I'm happy that. Williams came with a 7.7 at left back. He's ready and keeper on his debut gets man of the match. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh my god, that has just been not been happening enough. And the striker's done the business. If only every game was like this. That is massive. We've moved up to nine. Well, our teams have still got to play, but oh, thank god for that. Six unbeaten now. These draws kill me. Three all Fulham, three all Tottenham. But we are scoring for fun. We just got to keep it tight at the back. If anyone wants to use my tactic, it's, I've made it. Check out the tactics playlist I made. There's a couple on there, but this one's there. This one's called Best Tactic. It's really good. If you've got a good team, you will kill with this tactic. If you've got an average team or a lower one like I had, yeah, you'll get good results, but sometimes you get turned over. Uh, this one was someone I scouted. Yeah, he's got... They want crazy money, don't they, for young players, young Premier League players. Stupid money. And you can never sell yours for that kind of money. You never can. They're like, oh, he's worth, your player will be like, oh, he's worth 30 million. You'd be lucky to get like two for him. But other teams players, you, you have to pay like ridiculous, like 20 million up front and 20 on clauses and then a sell on and this, that and the other. Yeah. You know the score. Okay, we are ninth. We've all said and done. Six behind Leicester. That's going to be such a tall order, really. With City ahead of us. I mean, that top six, seven, eight. What are Leeds doing up there? They're obviously turning it on. Liverpool. Man United, Arsenal, Chelsea. So at least they've got a title race going on. But yeah, we are. We could easily drop down to mid table. We gotta kick on. I'm dreading what the next match is. Ah, oh, my lone player scored. I need to win again. Ah, oh, that's alright. He's a, he's a lone player. He can be injured. Mentoring group, whatever. You don't care about the mentoring. Well, I do, but like. City got a good point against Liverpool there. That's opened the title race for Man United and Arsenal. Oh, no, here we go. <sighs> illness. Send him home. I cannot afford an illness bug. That's my young striker. Who is a wonder kid? Oh, maybe this could be a turning point. Oh my God, he's out for six or seven weeks. The injuries are coming. We haven't got a game because it's cup week. Isn't it? What is going on? Stub toe. Oh no. Man City, who are eighth. Oh, my God. Massive, 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 massive game. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. So... It's actually given me some random keeper that doesn't actually exist. 
Don't you love it when it does that? Because there's no one. There's no reserve. And he's out for three days. Let's hope he doesn't have to play. No, Mr. Rodrigo, I'm going to have to keep playing because he's on a lot of money, which is quite sad, really. Vidovic was better, but, you know. I think we'll stay with that. Quite nervous, really, because look at them. Why are they so far down the table? They're like unbelievable world-class team. Oh. Come on, the veil. I'm not a northerner. Does this count as a local derby, Port Vale, Man City? Who's tracking him? Who's tracking him? That's a miracle I didn't go in. It's weird, they haven't shown my highlights. Look, I had four shots. Five shots, four on target. Didn't show. Julian Vidovic, a half. They're fighting it out for that shirt and neither of them are impressing me. Absolutely trousered. But he's a good player. So we bring on Edwards. Just give it some legs at the end. I don't know what to think. I'll take nil nil though. I'll take the point. Weirdest game ever. I don't think I've had a nil-nil in three years. I had nine shots, four on target. They had eight shots, one on target. But he didn't show a highlight. Nothing was considered as the least highlights we've had since we've been going, guys. But again, keeper, man of the match. Two performances, two man of the matches. I think that was a good point. Youthful Port Vale. Seven unbeaten, we we'll take it. It's a bit of a gap, but let's have a look. So, much better run of form with draws. We have got Leeds away, Newcastle at home. Good little run. And that Leicester game, that is so critical to the whole season. But it's a bad run after that. Really, it's a bad run all around. Leicester, Liverpool, Arsenal, Chelsea, Man United. Little nice little last run of three, but I don't know. 
hard to hard to see us hard to see us scraping with five points behind Leicester, we'll have to beat them. And then that also means City, we rely on City to mess up as well. So hopefully Tottenham will do a true Tottenham and slip away and we'll catch them instead. Anyway, it's exciting times. All right, guys, thanks for watching this episode. It was a good one. I'll be back again tomorrow with another couple of matches. Thanks for watching.